Good afternoon and welcome to La Cucina. So, about three weeks ago, I started making capocollo, lonzino, and I made fresh cheese as well. And you can see it here, nice cheese. Now this is a hard cheese, but this was in, my intention was to uh, get a really dry stagionato, but I couldn't resist. So I gave, already I gave one to my son, uh, Michael and Nicholas, my sons, and, and they ate it and they said they love it. Um, so this is one of them. So I have a big one that I'm aging right now and that I'm gonna leave it and do my best not to eat it. So I wanna taste this and I said to myself, you know, I gotta do the tasting for my uh, cheese. And this is like semi-stagionato, but it's, you know, it's supposed to be semi-stagionato because it becomes a hard cheese, but I could resist it. So let's try, I'm gonna cut a piece. And it's pretty hard already. I probably forget if I leave it, it will be. But I have another one. I have another one that I am really um, working on it. And I actually put it in my chamber to um, age it better. So I'm gonna bring it a little closer here and see how, it, how this goes. Look at nice, it almost looks like a, a ricotta salata. I'm sure the taste is different. I'm gonna try because I'm salivating over here. This is almost very close to ricotta salata. When I made this, um, I made it with the intention to let it dry really hard and then, you know, cut it like almost like a pecorino. But um, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so I said, let me try it out. And it's almost like a ricotta salata. So it's really good. And um, on a salty side, let me see. If I put this on a piece of bread, it gives me almost the same feeling as if I'm eating ricotta salata. It's really good. but it's salty. So, if I would have left it, it, would be, it probably would have become a nice pecorino. But, mm. One more, guys. Now after, after this, I need like a glass of wine with this. So, a new type of ricotta salata. This cheese is made from milk bought from the store so it's pasteurized milk i had to do a, I had to put in uh, the calcium chloride and also a little bit of yogurt a little bit of heavy cream in the milk so I'll give them a little more uh, fat content and and the calcium chloride kind of replace a little bit of the the, the loss of calcium when they do the pasteurization of the milk but guys, this is um, very nice and, you know, I probably could keep eating this until I'm, uh, I'm full. Really good. Delicioso. I have to say, even though 
I have to admit, it's a little on the salty side. But I should have, I should have went a little heavy on the salt. Huh. So, yummy. Mmm. Nice. My Cabocollo and my Lonzino, they already lost weight, so it means they're losing the percentage of the weight, so they're drying out slowly. And I think they will be ready in another three to four weeks, and then we can taste that too. For now, we tasted the, I guess, a semi-fresh cheese, because it's three weeks old, you know, so... It's fresh cheese no matter what. But guys, thank you for watching. This is, I wanted to put this together, a little short video, just to the continuation of the cheese making video that I made three weeks ago. So thank you for following me and I appreciate all your support and I'll see you next time. Ciao.